Hey everybody, it's Chase with American Vintage Adventures again, and today we're at Epcot, and I don't know what to do because there is no festival, and that is a rarity here at Epcot, so we're just going to see what it's like diet Epcot style. Epcot with no festival, come with me, I got you, let's go do this. So the walls are finally down at Epcot, but there is no festival going on. The Flower and Garden Festival got cut much, much shorter this year than normal, and uh, that's kind of odd. And we've all kind of seen that uh, the new Communicor Hall and the space around here perhaps was not worth five year wait and doesn't really resemble most of the sketches that we saw that were these just grand ideas and grand places that we told we were getting so to be honest with you i'm going to keep that part out of this video for the most part consider that part of my diet epcot is uh, a diet of none of the new spaces that uh aren't like we thought we were going to get <laughs> instead we're just going to kind of do Epcot old school. We're just gonna walk around and enjoy it and uh, see what you can do if you don't specifically have a plan or a festival to guide your day here at Epcot. So let's go do it. First stop for us on Diet Epcot, uh, just wandering around, is the La Cantina de San Angel over here. We're gonna grab a little bit of food, then, you know, get ready to walk around, see what we get into. I have never actually eaten here before, believe that or not. So we're gonna do it now. This is the Tacos de Barbacoa with the rice and beans. Got some salsa here, and there is my Acapulco Colada. This is the Trios Taco, which is uh, barbacoa, a chicken, and looks like a fish taco. I think so. Or shrimp taco. Shrimp. Yep, shrimp. And beans. And some salsa verde. And that <laughs> is the Mexican sangria. Very good. Two thumbs up. So as you see, being at Diet Epcot doesn't mean we're on a diet. <laughs> we're over here. Uh, although this is kind of healthy, not too, too heavy food to start out the day and the drink. And uh, we'll give this uh, little barbacoa taco a bite. There's a lot of flavor and that's damn good. That is really, really, really good. A lot of the, the meat is juicy and flavorful. The corn tortilla, I wish it were bigger, but at least there are three of them. Let me try my uh, drink here. Um, a lot of frozen drinks. You wonder if there is any alcohol in it. There is no question. There is a lot of alcohol in that thing. As uh, my friend Justin would say, that is a bang for your buck drink because there is some alcohol in that. <laughs> All right, I'm hungry. Diet Epcot awaits. Let's eat. And over here, where Pop Eats stands, and what is it, the Honey Bistro? But I think of Pop Eats at the Festival of the Arts. We have another symbol of the less festive Diet Epcot, the Shuttered Festival booth. <laughs> Just walking around and it, I mean, to be honest, it is kind of strange to not have a bunch going on like festival wise there's no festival decorations or whatever and you get so used to seeing it because they're almost year round now that when it's not here it's like wow that's what it looks like So on our uh, Epcot with no festival day, uh, who needs a festival? You can come over and uh, go to the Yorkshire County Fish Shop and get you a little basket of fish 
and fries, and it's really not much more expensive a lot of times than some of the stuff you get from a festival booth. And you can get you a beer. It doesn't, not a special uh, festival beer, but it's a beer for the UK Pavilion. And just hang out and enjoy this view. Yeah. A little cloudy out there right now. But still, if there's no festival to like kind of pull you around from place to place, it's it's kind of more old school and you can just take your time and explore the pavilions, whatever, because you're not trying to race to get to this booth or that booth to try stuff before it's gone or waiting in the festival lines. It's very different experience. It's hard to experience Epcot anymore without a festival. So it's kind of interesting that they stopped the other one early so that there's this big gap. So that there's this big gap between festivals. It's really loud over there. And uh, we're just kind of enjoying it. I don't know how much more we'll do because uh, the rain is coming, but uh, we're going to enjoy it for now. See you later. Time to relax with some living with the land. Beneath the surface of the land, roots trap water from the flowing mud, extracting precious nutrients and minerals. These elements, when combined with sunlight, create the diverse living systems of our planet. Uh, Diet Epcot Day, we decided to stop by the land pavilion and uh, ride the land. That is still one of my favorite rides. If y'all saw my ranking the rides at Epcot video, you know I have it much higher probably than a lot of people. I think I had it sliding in at three behind Spaceship Earth and Guardians, but man, right there like with Spaceship Earth, I really love it. The little house in there is uh, my like dream house, a little, <laughs> a little updated farmhouse with a little small cornfield where I can plant pumpkins and corn and have you know uh, scarecrows out there Halloween style because I, I love that stuff and uh, just kind of have that vibe all the time but I don't know how much more we're gonna do here just kind of doing some stuff and having a lot of fun um, the ride was fun most relaxing ride I think in all of Disney World may be the land and uh, we are headed back up here close to Spaceship Earth. We may or may not stop there. It depends on how long the wait is. But uh, yeah, just kind of strolling through and enjoying Epcot without a festival. I know, it's weird. I'm still not even used to it. <laughs> so of course, on an old school Epcot day with no festival, you have to ride Spaceship Earth. Come on. This is one of my favorite rides. So, I, you know, on a Diet Epcot day, I'm going to get on at least two of my top three rides. Full disclosure, Guardians was sold out. You could not get it, couldn't get a uh, any kind of virtual queue, couldn't even give your good hard-earned money to buy a virtual queue. It was packed today, which makes sense because there's no festival going on. And it's one of the bigger things to do. So, no festival to draw crowds? Well, they're going to go to Guardians. I'm going to go to Spaceship Earth. Spaceship Earth. It is very, very loud in here. 
people are hiding out because I believe it's raining outside. Well, as you saw, it was absolutely pouring down rain on our diet Epcot day. I mean, what a day. What a crazy day. Uh, it is odd these days to be at Epcot with uh, no festival going on and just kicking it old school and having fun, but that's what we did today, and uh, I enjoyed it. Didn't do a whole lot, but what we did was fun. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. It really does help out the channel. Consider joining the channel, sticking around for the price of a cup of coffee, something like that, a month. Uh, you really help keep the adventure going by joining the channel or my Patreon. Get all kinds of cool stuff if you do that. But uh, like I always say, you don't have to do that to hang around. You can just like, subscribe, and ring that bell and go on these adventures with me. And uh, until next time, this is a very soggy chase saying have a great ABA day, and I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.